In a recent broadcast, Vladimir Solovyov, a Russian state TV host and known ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, called for the destruction of America's critical infrastructure if the United States tries to give Moscow any kind of an ultimatum in the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. According to Newsweek, President-elect Donald Trump has previously said that if he were at the negotiating table with Putin and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, the war between the two Eastern European nations would end within 24 hours. Now that Trump won this year's presidential election against Vice President Kamala Harris, the Democratic nominee, the world will be looking to see how he handles the war. Solovyov warned on a program he hosts on Russia One, a Russian state-owned television channel, if the US tries to give us any kind of an ultimatum, the Stalin Strait will appear in the middle of America. I will say it once again, we should destroy every dam, every hydro system, Solovyov said on his show. He then said of Ukraine, we should wash this Nazi scum off the face of the Russian soil, adding that the Warsaw nation simply doesn't exist. Newsweek recalls when Putin launched his full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, he claimed it was to denazify the country. However, Ukraine, the US and multiple experts on the region have denied Moscow's claim that the war-torn country, whose president is Jewish, is corrupted by Nazis. Solovyov seemingly implied during a broadcast in February 2023 that the US should be destroyed for its support of Ukraine and in its place should be a strait named after former Soviet Union leader Joseph Stalin. After a guest on the show spoke of the war in Ukraine being a larger battle against the US and the West, Solovyov agreed. And in the 21st century, the dream of the great thinker, academician Sakharov, will come true, Solovyov said, likely referring to Andrei Sakharov, a Russian scientist who played a role in creating the first Soviet hydrogen bomb. Yes, and on the territory of the United States, there will be a strait in the name of comrade Stalin, Solovyov added. A new typhoon barreled across an agricultural region in the northeastern Philippines on Monday after thousands were evacuated to safety while still struggling to recover from the devastation caused by three successive storms in the last three weeks. Typhoon Taraji slammed into northeastern Aurora province and was forecast to blow over the mountainous Luzon region, where President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. just the day before inspected the damage from the last storm and led the distribution of food packs to residents in Cagayan and Ilocos provinces. Marcos skipped this week's Asia-Pacific Cooperation Forum in Peru to oversee recovery efforts from back-to-back -back storms. After making landfall in Aurora on Monday morning with sustained winds of up to 130 km per hour and gusts of up to 180 km per hour, the typhoon was expected to barrel northwestward across Luzon, weaken as it crosses a mountain range and then blow into the South China Sea. Interior Secretary John Vic Rimula on Sunday ordered the forcible evacuation of people in 2,500 villages expected to be lashed by Taraji, locally named Nika, warning that the rain-soaked Luzon mountains, valleys and plains were more susceptible to flash floods and landslides. The military said its disaster response forces have been deployed near high-risk areas and were standing by for new contingencies. It added that it suspended combat drills in the north due to the weather. Schools were shut down, inter-island ferry services and domestic flights were suspended in provinces in or near the path of the typhoon, the 14th weather disturbance to batter the Philippine archipelago this year. Forecasters said they were monitoring another brewing storm in the Pacific that could affect the country if it strengthens. The last two typhoons and a tropical storm caused more than 160 deaths, damaged thousands of houses and farmlands and affected more than 9 million people, including hundreds of thousands who fled to emergency shelters, after dumping from one to two months' worth of rain in just 24 hours in some cities and towns. Uh. Thank <laughs> you.